Let's say you are a blogger or an online store owner and you bought a domain for your business. But your business email address is still at Gmail or Yahoo. Though these emails provide quality service, this will still raise a doubt on your customers. On their heads, they will question the legitimacy of your business emails, which in turn reduces the numbers of your potential leads. However, if you customize your email domain that matches your brand, then the question of legitimacy will be out of the scenario. In most cases, you can get your custom email for free from your cPanel hosting plan. But for those who host their blogs or websites from other platforms such as Blogger or WordPress.com, you need to look elsewhere to get a free custom domain. In this video, I show you how to get an email with custom domain for free. For demo purposes, I need to buy a new domain. Namecheap offers the most competitive price. I will look for a domain that I can buy for a dollar or two. I'll search for my test domain and see if there are available cheap extensions. It appears that the ICU is the most affordable extension. Let us pay for that one. Now that the domain is ready, let us proceed on getting an email address where you can customize the domain. At the moment, only Zoho Mail offers the service for free. From your web browser, go to zoho.com. From the Mail section, click Sign Up Now. Select Business Email and then click Sign Up for Free. Scroll down and then from the Forever Free Plan section, click Sign Up Now. Provide the domain of your business. For this example, let us use my test domain that I see you, which we just registered from Namecheap. Click Add and then provide your account name, admin email, cell phone number, password, country of residence, and other email address. Click Proceed. From the Summary section, review your details and then click Sign Up. Enter the verification code that was sent to your mobile number and then click Verify My Mobile. Let us skip the two-factor authentication setup for now. Let us verify the domain. Select your DNS hosting provider. For this example, let us use name.com. A text record is provided. You will add this on your DNS manager. From your DNS hosting provider, add a text record. Make sure that it matches the text record provided by Zoho Mail. Click Verify Text. It appears that our text record has not propagated. Let us try CNAME. From your DNS hosting provider, add a CNAME record. Make sure that it matches the record provided by Zoho. Remember that it may take up to 48 hours for the CNAME or text records to propagate. At the bottom of the display, click Verify CNAME. Create an administrator email and then click Create Account. 
You can also create additional email accounts, for example, for a colleague or an employee. Note that for a free business plan, you can only create up to 5 accounts. You can also create groups or distribution list. Let us skip that for now. Next, let us create 3 MX records. From your DNS hosting provider, add three CNAME records. Make sure that they match the records provided by Zoho. Note that, like your CNAME or text records, MX records may take time to propagate. You are now ready to use your email. However, to avoid email spoofing and to make sure that they will not be treated as spam, you need to create an SPF or DKIM text records. Since our domain is new, text records may take up to 48 hours to propagate. To check if the DNS propagation is complete, use dnschecker.org. Next is email migration. Since we don't have an email to migrate, let us skip this for now. If necessary, you may download the Zoho Mail Admin app or Zoho Mail app for easy management of your emails. For your DNS manager or DNS hosting provider, you must see an SPF text record, a CNAME or text verification record, a DKIM text record, and three mail exchange records. Now that our setup is complete, let us try sending an email. The email is not in our inbox. Let us try looking at the spam folder. Gmail treats our Zoho mail as spam. That is because we haven't verified our SPF and DKIM records yet. Since our domain is new, we cannot do that immediately. Don't worry, Zoho notifies you every now and then to verify your SPF and DKIM records. For now, let us report the email as not phishing. If you have questions regarding the setup, please leave a comment below. Thank you!